The Housing Board has launched 6,938 built-to-order BTO flats for sale across eight projects in Jurong East, Kaleng slash Wampur, Queenstown, Tampanese, Woodlands and Ishuan. HDB also announced it would increase the subsidies for three projects launched on June 19 under the Prime Location Public Housing PLH model. This is to keep the flats affordable for a wider range of Singaporeans, the agency said, without specifying the extent of the increase. The projects are Tanjung Ru Riverfront 1 and 2 in the mature town of Kelang slash Wampur, as well as Holland Vista in Queenstown. For fairness, owners of these flats will be subject to a higher subsidy clawback upon the resale of their flats, set at 9% of the resale price or valuation. Whichever is higher. This is to correspond to the extent of the extra subsidies offered, said HDB. The clawback was 6% when the PLH scheme was introduced in 2021 to curb the lottery effect of owning flats in prime and central locations. It was raised to 8% from December 2023. With these additional subsidies and the substantial market discounts already applied across all BTO flats, the selling prices of these PLH projects will be significantly lower than the transacted prices of comparable resale flats nearby. HDB said. There is a 10-year minimum occupation period MOP for these flats. HDB added that one-fifth of the PLH flats will be set aside for families who are applying for flats for the first time, while 2% will be for second-timer families under the Married Child Priority Scheme, which allows a married child and his or her parents to live with or close to one another for mutual support. From the latest BTO sales exercise, young couples eligible for a Deferred Income Assessment Scheme can fork out a lower upfront down payment of 2.5% of the flat price, with the remaining 2.5% to be paid when they collect the keys to their flat, HDB said. The authorities had said that forking out the down payment on a flat can be hard for some young couples who have yet to build up their income, such as students and national servicemen. The upfront down payment was previously 5% for buyers taking HDB loans and those without a housing loan, and 10% for buyers opting for bank loans. Half of the flats on offer at the June 19th launch will have waiting times of four years of less, HDB said. This includes 791 flats in Marceling Peak Iron Woodlands, with a wait of two years and 11 months, and 561 flats in Tampanese Green Topaz, with a waiting time of three years and one month. The Tanjung Ru Riverfront 1 and 2 PLH projects along Kompong Arang Road will offer a combined 2. 063 two-room flexi, 3 and 4-room flats on a site by the Geylang River. Prices, excluding grants, range from $402,000 to $544,000 for a three-room unit and $568,000 to $779.000 for a four-room flat, making these flats the priciest at this launch. In comparison, three-room resale flats in Kelang slash Wampur transacted at between $730,000 and $828,000, and four-room flats at between $868,000 to $1.08 million, said HDB. The 11 blocks in Tanjung Ru Riverfront 1 and 2 range from 8 to 29 stories and are near the stadium and Mountbatten MRT stations. Property analysts have said these projects are expected to be popular as the flats could have views of the Singapore Sports Hub and Marina Reservoir. The wait for a flat will range between four years and four years and seven months. The other PLH project, Holland Vista, will have 342 two-room flexi and four-room flats on the site along Holland Drive near Holland Village and Buona Vista MRT stations. Two-room flexi units are priced without grants from $209. 
$2,000,000 to $367,000, and four-room flats from $582,000 to $762,000. Four-room resale flats, nearby cost $888,000 to $1.15 million, HDB said. The 40-story project has the longest waiting time in this launch. At four years and nine months. The Chancheru Hills project in Ishuan, comprising 1,277 units of two-room flexi, three dash, four and five-room flats, is the first BTO launch in the up-and-coming housing area. It is bounded by Sambuang Road and Lorong Chancheru and is fairly near Katib MRT Station. Two-room flexi units in this project are going for $113,000 to $170,000, three-room flats for $219,000 to $271,000, four-room flats for $279,000 to $346,000, and five-room units for $407,000 to $496,000 all prices exclude grants. The wait for a flat will be about 3 years and 8 months. Tampanese Green Topaz, located near Tampanese West MRT Station, offers 561 two-room flexi, 4 and 5-room flats across 4 blocks. One of the blocks will have 24 units of two-room rental flats. Prices range from $152,000 to $238,000 for a two-room flexi-flat, $445,000 to $569,000 for a four-room flat, and $589,000 to $719,000 for a five-room flat. Meanwhile, Marceling Peak 1 and 2 Along Admiralty Road and Marceling Lane in Woodlands, will offer a combined 1,609 two-room flexi, three dash, four and five-room flats as well as three generation units. Marceling Peak 2 will have a wait of four years and six months. In Jurong East, the Tabern Breeze project along Tabern Gardens Road and Jurong Town Hall Road offers 1,086 two-room flexi, three dash, four and five-room flats. The wait for a flat is four years and six months. Flat applications close at 11.59 p.m. on June 26 on the HDB flat portal. The new homes will be allocated through balloting. The June exercise takes the number of BTO flats launched in 2024 to 11. 064, in all, about 19,600 BTO flats will be launched across the three sales exercises in 2024. In the final launch of the year in October, HDB will offer about 8,500 flats in on MOKO. Bidok, Bukit Batak, Geelang, Jurong West, Kalang slash Wampoa, Pazar Ris, Sengkong and Woodlands. Among them are 260 community care apartments in Geelang, the fourth such project which come with senior-friendly fittings, such as wheelchair-accessible bathrooms with slip-resistant flooring and grab bars. A new type of layout, white flats, without partitions and beams, will be piloted in a 310-unit BTO project in Kalang slash Wampoa. Buyers can opt for the white flat layout, which allows for an open-concept living and bedroom space. When they are invited to book a flat, those who do not opt for this layout will receive the standard layout with walls. HDB added, the non-provision of internal partition walls will be factored into the pricing of the white flats, which is being finalized. The new classification of flats into prime, plus or standard categories will take effect from the October launch. BTO units in choice locations will fall under the prime and plus categories which come with stricter resale conditions, such as a 10-year MOP and a subsidy clawback. Standard flats, 
which will form the bulk of public housing supply, will come with a five-year MOP and have no significant restrictions on the pool of resale buyers.